Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things, and you get to benefit from it. So the latest firmware for the Canon M6 Mark II just came out Tuesday, March 31st. It's version 1.1.0. And among other things, it finally gives users the capability of shooting in 24 frames per second. 23.98 to be exact. Now I'd like to give a shout out to Peter Faciano's YouTube channel for first bringing this to my attention. He's got a great video that I'll link that shows you exactly how to update the firmware on your Canon M6 Mark II. So in this video, I want to answer one simple question. Now that we have iOS 13 on our iPads with awesome, awesome updates to the functionality of the Files app, can we download this firmware onto an iPad, then load it to an SD card to be finally updated on a Canon camera? Let's find out together. Well, iOS 13 has definitely made it possible to utilize your iPad for almost all of your computing, being at mobile or at home. So I was very hopeful that I'd be able to download the .dmg file, then open it on the iPad and extract the actual firmware file, which is a .fir. So I opened Safari on my iPad and I went to the Canon USA in this example website. I typed in uh, the support drivers and downloads for this particular camera. I went down to the firmware, clicked on yes, I accept the terms and conditions and downloaded it. And as you can see here, just like on regular Mac OS, the blue arrow came up that showed the item downloading to the iPad. And if you hop over to the Files app, you can clearly see the file had been downloaded in the downloads section of the files app. Now, if you look on the Canon website, they show you the two methods for extracting the needed file out of either Mac OS or Windows. And it says, after you download it, you go to that section of your computer where your downloads are and you click on what looks like a magnifying glass icon and that should open and give you access to the user manual as well as the much needed .fir file that needs to be loaded onto the SD card. But on my iPad Pro, when I clicked on that, as you can see here, nothing happened. It just kind of went to a full screen with the name of the file and did nothing else. So in the end, I did have to go over to my old MacBook and uh, follow those same steps and it extracted just fine. I loaded it onto the SD card and I updated my camera. And in fact, right now I'm shooting this video in 23.98 frames per second. I'm actually looking forward over the next few months to make lots of videos in 24 frames per second and see if I can tell the difference. So as I've mentioned several times on this channel, I do all of my video editing with LumaFusion on my iPad. I absolutely love it. I can open it up wherever I'm at. If I'm at a kid's sporting event and there's some downtime, and if I'm waiting at a job site for some amount of time, waiting to pick the kids up from school, I can hop on there and get a little bit of video editing done. It's very convenient. I've also watched a lot of videos on YouTube with the subject being, can you utilize the iPads for all of your computing needs? Or do you still need a desktop or MacBook? And sadly, in the last week, I have found two instances where the iPad could not, on its own, uh, provide some of the functions that I needed it to. Namely, this firmware update, and also formatting a storage drive that I'm gonna do a video on next week. In both instances, though I tried like heck, I could not get the iPad to do the things that a very old MacBook Pro could do. That's kind of disappointing. So this is just a quick video because I know everybody's gonna be excited with this new firmware update. We've been waiting for a while. I would love to hear if I'm wrong. Does anyone out there know how to do this with the iPad? Is it even possible? If you can prove me wrong, please leave a link to your video and I will put it right over here for everyone to see and appreciate. Until next time, thank you for watching.